import those are available at this place and all the files that are specific to ASP.NET Core, those are available at this place over here. So these are the default .NET Core files. Here you can see all the system files, system console, core data. These will be visible in all the projects that are created by .NET Core project and specific to the framework are available at this location. And here are some analyzers. So this dependencies is basically a place for all the packages, SDKs, frameworks that are installed in your project. Now here are the actual files. Let's expand this one. And here we have one file, loan settings.json. This file has some details to run this application in the development environment. This is a JSON based file and here we have some details. These are the IIS settings. The Windows authentication is false. Anonymous authentication is true. We will learn the details of these settings in upcoming videos. But here we are just having the overview of all these files. At the bottom side you can see we have two profiles. First is IS Express and second is the name of your project. If you are running your application by using the IS Express then the settings are coming from this place. If you are running your application by using the command line interface then the settings are coming from this place. Let's close this file. Here we have the controllers folder. Remember the web API is a controller based approach. All the controllers that are available in your application, all those controllers will be available at this place. So here by default we have only one controller. This controller is inherited from this controller base. Here we have some attributes. API controller, this is the route. We will understand all the attributes one by one in upcoming video in details. Then we have some methods. This is a static method. Then here we have one read only field. This is for the logging purpose. Here is the constructor and this is only a very simple method. Again here we have one HTTP attribute and in this method you can see we are just returning some data in form of I enumerable. Okay. Now along with this controller we have one app settings.json file. Let's click on this one. All the settings that are available for your project you can write all of them over here in this app settings.json file. If you are coming from the old .NET framework background, then at that place you are having the web config file. And we used to write all the app settings in that web config file, but here in the .NET code, you can use the app settings.json file to write all your settings. If you will expand this app setting, you will see there is one more file that is specific to the environment. So if you are working on the development environment and you want to override some settings from this app settings.json, then you can write all these settings in this development.json. You can also create n number of development files based on your environment in your application. Then we have this program.cs file and this is the entry point of this project. By default, each .NET Core application is a console application. So here we have the program class, then we have the main method. In this main method, you can see we are using this second method. 